Bottom line is they have paper right. ballot backups right, that's that good. prove that they were that's not. Good. So you guys went and they let you audit there? They let you do a full audit, CNN? You guys did a full audit on 15 counties, huh? We did what Lindell did not do. We went to Delta County, Michigan to see how the election was carried out. Trump won here, nearly two to one. The state Michigan entry point order, Delta County. In his videos and his lawsuit, Lindell claims someone in China hacked the election system here and stole away precisely 3,215 Trump votes and turned them into Biden votes. The Republican yeah. county clerk, Nancy Prezraki, finds the allegation laughable for one main reason. It is never connected to the internet. Never. Never connected to the internet at all, whatsoever. Not only are they not connected to the internet, the votes are cast by hand on paper. Voters scan their ballots into this Dominion scanning machine where two digital storage cards keep a tally. The paper ballot goes right into this bin under lock and seal. And that container is sealed. And just to check that everything went okay, they conduct audits comparing the paper ballots to the results on the computer. And in 2020, it was an exact match. We audited three different precincts and they matched exactly, so. So what would you say to somebody who made a documentary that among many counties accused your county of being the victim of a, of a Chinese hack that changed the vote counts? I would say that didn't happen in Delta County. A Republican-led Michigan State Senate investigation found out it didn't happen anywhere. No evidence of widespread or systematic fraud. I don't think you really understand how votes are cast, collected, and tabulated in this country. Okay, the, you, you know what? I do. But what you don't understand is they can get, after they're tabulated, they can get hacked after the fact, which they were, because Donald Trump was going to win anyway. Ballots, Donald which were Trump cast, was going to win anyway. The paper ballots You which didn't were do an cast, audit to match them up, though. were audited against the machine. No, they weren't. Count. No, they weren't. In these counties, no, they, they were. Mike. No, they weren't. Who told you that? The county officials. Oh, who did they did tell it. you that? Well, they're going to have some answering to do. No matter who says there was no widespread fraud in the election, whether it's local election officials, secretaries of state, judges, or even Donald Trump's own attorney general, Mike Lindell's conclusion is the same. They are all wrong. All these county officials are lying? I don't know. They might be misconstrued. We'll say misconstrued because they don't realize what happened. Lindell says his information comes from multiple sources, all of them super secret. He claims he's spent millions on the project and also claims he will give $5 million to anyone who proves him wrong. Mike, you could you can make up anything. Who can? No, you can't. You, this you, is where you are, no, this you are is just where, going to have no, no, a no, no, demonstration. No, 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 no. This room. is where you're wrong. We're giving it to all the. We're giving it to the cyber people that show up. We're going to give them each state. Here's a state, Georgia. They can take it How apart. You could possibly be the victim of a scam here. Well, then why don't you come to the symposium and make $5 million? Are you worried about me? We should give a hug. You're worried about old Mike. Oh, God bless you. Here's what we're worried about. We're worried that what you are doing is mistakenly or deliberately destroying the confidence in the legitimate elected president of the United States and fostering what could be you real know what? damage to this country. I never said anything bad about Biden or the Democrats. You ever. Have, you have, never. You wrong. have through this, inve through this no, investigation. No, I have not. You pull it up. This, you're lying now. You're lying. Mike, I said the Democrats what I said. warned us. No, you're lying. No, I said you're the Democrat that, Party warned us You're saying that Joseph great... Biden was what? illegitimately elected. I'm saying that China did an attack on our country and that the and that wrong the election, person won. That's right. The people who have watched your video believe what you say. 100% over. If you're wrong, isn't that very dangerous? But I, yes, but I'm not wrong. I've checked it out. I've spent millions. You need to trust me and come there. Holy cow. All right, Drew Griffin joins us now. Uh, sorry, Drew. I've got to get over my temporary shock at seeing all that, where on earth is Lindell getting this, I guess I'm going to put it in air quotes here, information? Of course, he won't tell us. It's all wrapped in his, uh, you know, secret squirrel type sci-fi version of, of what took place. But we have every reason to believe that this is nothing more than old recycled conspiracy theories from people who, quite frankly, have ripped off people like 
Mike Lindell in the past. Sheriff Arapaio famously was uh, connected to one of these type of metadata scams. We write about this in our digital, but it does appear uh, that Mike Lindell, although he's not saying where these sources come from, is getting his information from the same old type of people who have been pushing this before the election of 2020. Yeah, and right now it's like he's getting high on his own supply. You know, it's just, it, it's so crazy. But he says that he's going to give $5 million to anyone who can prove him wrong. So, you know, are you going to share that with us, Drew? <laughs> of, of course he's not going to give that away. He's, he's wording things in such a way that, you know, if you can't prove that this is data from the election, you know, I don't know what he actually has, if it's just people buying stuff on Amazon that he's collected. I don't, I don't know. But I think the $5 million pitch is just a gimmick to ring in the ears of the people who follow Mike Lindell and think, well, if he's willing to put up $5 million, it must be true. The fact of the matter is none of this is true, Brianna. It is such utter garbage. What I cannot penetrate is whether or not Mike Lindell is getting scammed or might be part of it. I don't really know because I can't penetrate inside his brain to understand what he's talking about. When you have a conversation with this man, it's really difficult to understand what he understands. And I know he doesn't understand how votes are counted in the United States. So you had a brilliantly written line in this piece, something to the effect that people who go to this symposium will be offered discounts at the MyPillow mm -hmm. website. Really? I mean, he's yeah. selling pillows with all this? Keep in mind that his business is being crushed. He's been kicked out of retail stores, been kicked out of places like Costco. These were big, big generators. Uh, so he's trying to find avenues to sell his pillows. So on all these weird, low-level, right-wing, super, not even right-wing, I don't even know what they are, conspiratorial podcasts, he makes appearances, and on each one, while he's touting his symposium, he is selling pillows and he is giving away discounts. And he says at this symposium, which he's going to stream live, you know, 24 seven from his own little uh, operation, you will have the biggest my pillow discounts ever. So I think this is a combination of number one, trying to perpetuate this lie about this election. And number two, this is really helping him trying to either drive sales or save his company. He's also at war with Fox right now, isn't he, Drew? He's in a battle with Fox. Of course, Fox was uh, sued uh, for defamation from Dominion uh, voting systems like he was. Fox settled. And Fox doesn't want to go down that rabbit hole again because I, I don't know if they paid a huge amount of money or not, but they got in real trouble. Uh, and they don't want to have that trouble again. He is in a battle with them because he, Fox is not running his ads, which tout this symposium and this craziness. And so he is he is fighting what were his his friends, you know, his Fox and his friends. I, that's standard. He, he, he thinks Bill Barr. He told me in the interview, he thinks Bill Barr was paid off. That's why Bill Barr said what he said uh, uh, about the election. So anybody who disagrees with him is now the enemy. You know, yeah, I keep having to pinch myself and not laugh at this. Your tendency is to try to laugh at this, but it's profoundly unfunny and profoundly dangerous. And Drew, this was a terrific, important report. I really appreciate the work you've done here. Thanks. So coming up, hospitals overrun with patients as the Delta variant races across the country. How the Biden administration is hoping to put some financial.